guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm outside right now, so there's a bunch of flies and bees flying everywhere, but I wanted some natural light, so. So just yesterday, I did a photography shoot in Kansas City, and I did this for three reasons. First one was to learn the ins and outs of my camera a little bit farther. I feel I still felt like I had kind of an amateur view on it, so I just straight up used manual mode and just uh, learn how to use my camera. Wow, that's a huge spider. Oh my gosh. I, I might not shoot outside again for this monologue. Uh, where was I? Um, that was the first reason. The second reason I wanted to try to get some long exposure shot, which I ended up failing at. Um, you'll, you'll see that later on in this video. And three, uh, I wanted to explore Kansas City more. I wanted to walk through the streets and get some fresh air. So let's go through the photos that I took. All right, so the first thing that we had did in Kansas City, we just got out the car, we started walking around. We were next to the city market, to our city market, which uh, was pretty cool. I got some cool photos there, but we were next to it. And my mom, she didn't have coffee that morning, so she went into a coffee shop. And I stayed outside to try to get some shots. And I found this huge puddle. And, you know, in photography, that's kind of like finding gold. So. I took a reflection photo off that puddle. I ended up getting this picture and I edited it to make it look like this. And it was a pretty cool shot. Um, yeah, I should probably use puddles more. The second photo that I got was next to um, that destination. And it was like like this like weird shot with a bunch of like plants and antiques and stuff like that. I ended up getting this photo of one of the flowers there and I edited it to look like this. Um, I had my camera in macro mode because it was tiny. It was actually way smaller than this photo uh, makes it seem. And yeah, it was a pretty cool photo. And the third photo I got while my mom was still in the coffee shop was this photo. It was just like, there was like these plants and stuff, you know, and I edited it to look like this. After that, after she got out of the coffee shop, we walked into the city market. I've never been to a city market before. It was really cool. It was just a bunch of the community and stuff, um, bringing out food and stuff. My mom bought some stuff and I was trying foods and stuff. Um, before we entered, I got this photo, kind of like of the overall uh, market itself. I edited it to make like, to look like this. This doesn't really fit the theme of I was trying to go moody and stuff, this picture, but the colors were so lively and it was a cool bright day in Kansas City, so yeah. When we were walking through the marketplace and stuff, there, was pe there were people playing instruments and stuff, you know, kind of doing like a street performance. And there was this one man, he had like a bunch of different instruments all over his body and I thought it would make a cool photo, so I took this photo of him and I edited it to make like to look like this to match kind of the orange teal theme that I was trying to go for and yeah it turned out pretty good so after that we drove again and we started walking through like the main part of the city which is where I got some of my favorite photos from this shoot well before we started walking through I tried to get my long exposure shot I had brought a bigger tripod just for this shot and I set it up right on the side of the street and I tried to get a long exposure shot and since like it was like really they say don't like shoot in like high noon and stuff it was really bright outside and I ended up getting a bunch of failed shots basically what I was trying to do I was I tried to move my aperture lower right like the shutter speed the lower the shutter speed the more light that's let in right but then after that I tried to turn my ISO down it didn't work so after that we had we continued walking uh, after I got those failed photos. We continued walking through the streets of Kansas City. I got this photo right here and I edited it to look like this. I really like this edit. Uh, kind of straightened the photo a little. And yeah, I really like it. Now, throughout this uh, street photography, throughout me doing this, I tried to look up at the buildings. I was told in some videos, uh, you have to kind of look up when you're shooting buildings in the city and stuff. Also another, photo I kind of put I stand it in the middle of the street and I got this photo and I edited it to look like this all right so I, as I'm looking up I'm seeing like some beautiful stuff I saw this um, street light and it had like a, a bouquet of flowers on it and I looked up and I took it 
and I edited it to look like this and I really like this edit I made it look super bright I was trying to make my other photos really moody and stuff but this one I couldn't help but make it kind of bright I saturated the red and the greens and stuff of, the, of that flower bouquet I thought it looked really cool um, my favorite photo of this whole street photography thing that I tried to do was this one I looked up I snapped this photo it looked like this first off the composition everything about this photo was perfect to me and I edited it to look like this that looks ridiculously awesome look come on I want to print that out and put it on my wall that looks awesome that's my favorite photo um, or one of my favorite photos that I've taken uh, after that I got this photo I really liked it and the only thing I changed was basically the sky I made it look teal to fit with the other photos. I took this photo of a really beautiful building and yeah. pulled like this. I also really like this edit. Now I took this photo, looked up and took this photo. I looked back at my camera and the composition was a little weird, but I kind of liked it. So I edited it to look like this. Again, the moody, it really fits. It's really cool. And I think that's it. So that's what I got all from the street photography experience. I feel like I really learned my camera a little more after this and it was pretty fun to do. So I would definitely recommend that. I really love this shoot. Um, next time I might uh, be doing a shoot with another photographer, which should be pretty fun too. Alright, uh, peace out and go out and take some photos. Uh, peace.